SpaceX Starlink throttling and data cap? What the heck is going on? Let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for once again being here. I don't have any tea today, but I hope you do. Maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out with me, talking tech, talking space, SpaceX, and Starlink. So today is going to be a Starlink specific video. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about this throttling that's going to be happening over there at SpaceX, Starlink, and of course a data cap. But the question is, does it affect you? Does it affect me? And that's what I'm gonna get into in this video. There's a lot of just crazy talk, but what else is new? And that's what I'm here for, is to kind of break it down for you and tell you the truth. <laughs> Give you the facts, not the bias. So anyways, there's a couple articles I wanna to bring to your attention. And after I'm gonna give you my commentary as I always do, but most importantly, down below, I wanna hear from you. What do you think about this? And does it affect you? And if it does, what are you going to do about it? So, the article starts out by saying, SpaceX Starlink speed cap mess. As of today, SpaceX Starlink speed cap drama is not screwing over residential users. It's a business-only headache. If you're on a residential plan, you're in the clear with unlimited data. No throttling, no nonsense. But if you're on a priority plan, which is aimed at businesses, you're getting hit with a brutal one megabits down and 0.5 megabits up data throttle once you exceed your monthly data limit, unless you shell out an extra $25 per 50 gigabytes. So what sparked this? The story kicked off when SpaceX updated their website and emailed priority users about ditching the unlimited standard data perk. That's important. They ditched the unlimited standard data perk. Now it's a hard cap for those who go over. SpaceX confirms this is a business plan shakeup. Residential folks aren't mentioned in the throttling talk. Very important. The latest scoop. Digging into this a bit deeper, SpaceX Starlink's website still lists priority plans, local and global, with caps, while residential and roaming plans are listed as unlimited data under the fair use policy, no speed cuts. The fact is, residential plans get deprioritized during peak times, but stay unlimited, unlike priority hard limits. Business gets the squeeze, residential does not. SpaceX is clearly targeting business users. Think maritime, remote offices, or developers needing public IP addresses. The base local priority 50 gigabyte plan dropped to $65 per month, but most tiers jumped 40 to $150. Meanwhile, residential light, $80 per month in 15 states, and standard residential at $120 per month keep rolling with no caps. They're even teasing a $10 a month backup plan with 10 gigabyte limit, but that's optional, not forced throttling. The bottom line, Residential users, you're golden. No speed cap BS to ruin your Netflix binge or Zoom calls. SpaceX Starlink's keeping your home Wi-Fi humming with unlimited data, even if it's deprioritized during peak hours. But priority plan users, businesses, remote pros, maritime ops, you're the ones that SpaceX has in a chokehold. Hit your data limit, say 40 gigabytes or more, and you're crawling at one megabit's down and 0.5 megabits up unless you fork over $25 per 50 gigabytes to keep the juices flowing. This isn't a glitch, it's a calculated squeeze. With 7,100 satellites orbiting and more launching monthly, SpaceX is wrestling a capacity beast and they're making businesses the guinea pigs, not your living room router. This is good information and this is to the point and there's very few times that we see an article that really kind of gets it. And honestly, I had to put two or three articles together to be able to make this happen. Why is this the case? Like I said in my last video, most of the tech rags or online magazines that do tech today are very left-leaning, musk-hating, they're just, incentivized, let's say by the 
publisher themselves to make these hit pieces on Elon Musk, on SpaceX, on anything, Starship, whatever it is. And what I have found with a lot of these stories is they will lead with a image, a snapshot of the website over there on SpaceX that has a $120 fee and it says residential on it. And then all of a sudden it says data cap, throttling. Whereas any of you watching my video now know that it has nothing to do with residential. But they still do this. This is just what they do. So anyways, I hope this kind of makes things a little bit more clear. Now, something that was not in any of these articles that you really need to be aware of is there's a little sneaky thing, all right, that's in their terms of service, let's say. When you opt in to the data overage, okay, it's actually called data overage opt-in. What that means is once you go over your data cap, whatever that limit is, and you have priority data, well, they're going to automatically, automagically start charging you. And that charge is going to be 50 cents per gigabyte. That's how it works. 50 cents per gigabyte. It's going to do it automatically. So if you did opt in for this, you will not even know that there is any type of issue because your speeds will never drop because it's going to give you more priority data without you having to do anything. It's not going to drop you down to that one megabit by a half a megabit up. You're just not going to know it. But keep in mind that it is still charging you on the back end. So at the end of the month, when you look at your bill, you're like, yee, that's a little bit high. You might want to opt out of that. But remember, once you opt out, you are then going to hit that throttle where everything is just blazing fast and all of a sudden you just fall off a cliff and you're downloading at one megabit and you're uploading at half a megabit, all right? So keep that in mind. It is very, very important. Also, you got to understand here that SpaceX has been adding a ton of satellites and a ton have been returning to Earth. There's over 400 that have gotten nixed in the last year, 400 satellites have already burned up because they decommissioned them. They're kind of making room for the new satellites that are coming into operation very soon. The version threes that I was talking about in yesterday's video. If you haven't watched it, go check it out. It had to do with SpaceX Starlink providing gigabit service in the not so distant future, which is important. So to kind of sum up here, this is a business play. It is not a residential play. If you have residential for $120 a month or whatever, you will not see any issues here at all. You're not being throttled. It is truly unlimited, okay? There's no data cap, period. Also, if you have a business plan and you're on priority, you will be throttled unless you have data overage opt-in turned on. That's completely up to you to do it or not do it. Also, you need to bear in mind that the 50 gigabyte plan actually went down for priority local, the basic plan. So it's $65 now, whereas the other plans are up 40 to $150 per month. This depends on which plan you are currently using. So I hope this has cleared things up. I've been getting a lot of email from you guys saying, oh my God, are we getting this data cap that you said was never going to come? Is there going to be throttling going on, Joe? Because I'm reading in these other magazines that it's happening and uh, yeah, no. If you read through them, you'll see that it's for business only. But if you just look at their sensationalized image, their thumbnail, um, the beginning of their article, the first paragraph or two, will all make it sound like it's going to be for all plans. This is just what they do. And like what mainstream media does and traditional newspapers do, they bury the lead. They bury the important stuff so deep that you never find it unless you read the entire article. And that's the same thing that, let's say nine out of 10 of these articles do, all right? So anyways, once again, I hope you appreciate this video. If you have, throw it a thumbs up. If you didn't, throw it a thumbs down. Either way, I would be happy. If you did enjoy it, please consider subscribing. If you're not, if you are, thank you. I appreciate that. Click the notification button over here so when I go live, you'll be notified of it immediately. And I'll be live, I believe, tomorrow. So hang out with me. Finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all of my merch and my teas and my books 
and my shirts and everything else, go pick something up. If there's something there that you like, help support me and my family. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected. We'll see you in the next one. Love you all. Bye.